Everyone knew he was the favorite going into New York. And he also happens to be a guy that we missed at the Olympia because of the hamstring injury that he had. So everyone wanted to see what Nick Walker was going to look like one week out. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. As you guys have seen already on our social media, on YouTube, the Pittsburgh Pro Superstar guest posing has taken place yesterday and it did not disappoint. Despite the fact that Big Rammy didn't show up, I thought it was a really exciting event. We had Sid on the ground over there sending in updates by the second to me and uh, I got to tell you, the, the excitement in that place was crazy off the charts. Two of the guys, Nick Walker, Martin Fitzwater, obviously are competing next week at New York Pro. So that was exciting to see them in contest shape on stage. So we might as well start with them. You know, I think Nick Walker was probably the most anticipated guy up on that stage because everyone knew he was the favorite going into New York. And he also happens to be a guy that we missed at the Olympia because of the hamstring injury that he had. So everyone wanted to see what Nick Walker was going to look like one week out. And I will say this, he was huge, as expected. He looks very big, he's full. I think that a lot of people expected, myself included, that he might be in better condition. He might be a little drier and harder. Uh, but I think it's important to remember also, Nick is not depleting for this guest posing. Yes, he put some color on, but he's not going to be doing anything crazy. And you have to remember, this is at the end of the day, this guest posing. So big guys, as they're eating, he might have had five meals in him already by the time he got up on that stage. So big guys are going to hold water towards the end of the day. So was he dry? Uh, no, no, he did not look dry. But I'm sure he did not take a diuretic for the guest posing, as I would not have advised him to do either, especially since he's going to be competing in a week. So I think he kind of went in there as is, threw on some color, you know, gave the crowd a show. This is probably not a good representative of what we're going to see from Nick Walker next Saturday in New York, where I'll be there with the whole RX Muscle crew. I think he's going to be way harder and drier. I don't think that he's holding much body fat on his body. I don't think he might have any. You know, A lot of people thought he could have been harder. His uh, conditioning wasn't where it needed to be. I think it was a, a totally a water thing. Probably, like I said, from all the meals he had eaten prior to getting up on stage. I don't suspect that he's behind schedule. I don't think that he is, there's anything that people need to worry about or that he needs to worry about. I'm sure he'll deplete out over the next couple days now and then carve up for next week's show. And we're going to see a great Nick Walker. Martin Fitzwater was really impressive. He's dry, but he's the kind of guy that, you know, he's pushing hard. Because, you know, yes, he qualified for the Olympia already uh, in Detroit. But I don't think he was happy with necessarily his final outcome of how he looked. Uh, when I talked to him in St. Louis two weeks ago, he told me that. And he said he really wanted to prove that you know, he could be even harder and even better than that. I think that was very admirable, given the fact that he's already qualified for the Olympia. And to go up to New York and test your physique against Nick Walker, I think that's very brave. And, and, and I think, if anything, he said, you know what? I'm going to show up at my best and, and wow everyone. And I got to tell you, up on that Pittsburgh stage, he was probably the best guy on the whole stage. Certainly conditioning-wise, he was the best guy. You know, Steve Weinberger was you know, kind of calling these guys out. They had them all up there together in a lineup, which I thought was kind of cool. And he was, you know, moving them around and, and, and comparing them to each other, which, you know, that was for the crowd. There was no reality. I mean, look, most of those guys were not in, in contest shape whatsoever. They were just big and off-season. Obviously, Nick Walker and Martin Fitzwater are a week out. So he kind of, they kind of, at the end, had those guys posing down next to each other. Who was better? Fitzwater. 
Does that mean anything about next week? No, probably not. Nick is way bigger. Martin has a smaller waist. Nick's waist is a little thicker, obviously. But Nick Walker has a lot more muscle than Martin. So the question will be, assuming Nick Walker dries out and brings what we know he's going to bring next week, I have no doubt. I've never seen the guy out of shape. I, I don't think anyone's going to beat him in New York. Martin, though, definitely looks... Yesterday looked better than he did when he won in Detroit. So I think we're going to see a really good Martin Fitzwater on the stage. And I think we're going to see a great Tony O'Burton, who wasn't obviously in Pittsburgh, but he will be on that New York Pro stage as well as Quentin Aria. So New York Pro is going to be stellar. That's why I'm super psyched that I'm actually going to the show. It might be one of the best shows uh, in a very, very long time. I'm excited to see it, uh, and I'm excited to be able to critique it in person. So that's, uh, that was a nice little showcase. Putting those two guys aside... Derek Lunsford was very impressive. He's certainly off-season, but he's not that far off. He's not holding excessive amounts of fat. I don't think Derek ever gets really out of shape, out of shape. He looks like he's added some more muscle. He's enormous. You know, I think a lot of people don't, aren't as impressed with Derek off-season because he's kind of short. So when he gets in really good shape, like for the Olympia, he's, he's like you know, cartoonish looking, like a little char- a cartoon character. Now he's... He's just big, but he's short big. So he's not as impressive as the big, big guys. And, that, and that, when we talk about that, we talk about like an Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack was certainly was not in contest shape, but he was the biggest guy on stage for sure. He had to be well over 300 pounds. And, you know, he's added a lot of mass to his body. And he's a guy that won't look also that impressive on stage in an off-season scenario. But when he gets in shape for the Olympia, if he's added 10 pounds of muscle since the last time we saw him, he, well, we're going to probably see him in Texas first. Yeah, for the, he has to qualify there. But once he, he gets into shape, I think we're going to be very impressed with the, the mass that he's added to his frame. Likewise, Hunter Labrada. Hunter Labrada was not in contest shape, but he was big. And we've seen him over the last couple of weeks, you know, putting pictures up on his Instagram. And he is very, very impressive. Once again, Hunter's physique doesn't wake up and doesn't really wow people until he gets in contest shape, but he's added the mass he needed, and I think that was important. A lot of people were worried he wasn't making enough improvements from year to year. This year, he went to work on adding the size he needed. He certainly has. I mean, his legs look enormous. His calves got, came up. His back is huge. His shoulders got bigger. So we're going to see a really good hunt of Labrador at the Olympia, or whenever he, he has to qualify, I guess, before that. So this... He did what he needed to do. So Andrew Jack, Hunter Labrada, definitely did exactly what they were supposed to do. You know, we've seen a lot of Samson Dowder. So I don't think a lot of people were even looking in Samson's direction. He's big. He's over 300 pounds. The guy's super impressive on stage. He takes up a lot of space. He's not in contest shape, obviously. His body needed a break after all the shows he did. He's now committed to working at Oxygen in Kuwait. He'll be at that gym preparing for the Olympia, which is good. It kind of gives him an isolation where he can focus exclusively on getting ready for the Olympia. And I'm sure we'll see a great Samson Data. I think what everyone's waiting for is the Samson Data that's going to be in that shrink-wrapped, peeled, shredded look. We haven't seen it yet from him. We've seen close. We haven't seen the look we all want. When he brings that look, I think, watch out. He's going to be super dangerous. So... We're setting, the, we're setting the stage, really. This is, you know, the halfway point. We set the stage for an Olympia in October that's going to be off the charts, obviously. Uh, New York Pro next week, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to at this point. And how that pans out is going to probably be a prelude to who's going to be a superstar come Olympia time. So, great. Once again, Jim Mannion puts together a great superstar guest pose. And we saw a couple of the uh, classic physique guys Urs Kalsinski was there, uh, Ramon Dino was there, so I think the fans got their money's worth. I would have liked to see Mumstead up there, but you know, sometimes you can't get everything you want in life. Uh, <laughs> I think it was great, though, that they lined them up on stage and that they, they got to go out into the crowd and they posed for all the fans, and you know, that makes the whole experience that much greater. So good job, guys. Good job, Jim Mannion, putting that together, and once again, it did not disappoint. Dave Palumbo. Oh, by the way, we'll be doing a full analysis on Heavy Muscle Radio tonight with Chris Aceto and King Kamali, so don't miss that. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo for an RX Muscle News Update.